Hello everyone. I've created this YouTube post as a way to have a little bit more of a long-form discussion about something that's been bothering me uh, in, the, in the wine industry of late, uh, and that issue is light strike, whereby wines that are packaged in certain types of glass can be damaged by incidental exposure to light. Uh, sunlight is the most uh, strongly has has the strongest effect on 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 wine but in, uh, indoor lighting can can also uh, cause this cause this problem of of light strike it's particularly clear glass where you where you have this this issue and rosé and white wines are 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 susceptible to to light exposure so I decided to do this little test uh, where I I went to a went to a wine retailer uh, and I asked someone to help me to choose out six uh, rosés for me. They could be still or sparkling, but they had to be in clear glass. Um, and I brought them home and, and set up a tasting for myself. And of those six wines, uh, well, I had four still rosés and two sparkling rosés. Uh, and of those six wines, one of them was very badly marked uh, by light. Two of them had a slight uh, e effect, um, and then three of three of them were all clear. But um, not a good uh, result, I suppose. Uh, not entirely surprising if you're if you're familiar with Light Strike, but but not a good result really. That uh, half of the wines that I brought home were in in some way affected by uh, affected by light. Now, what causes this uh, this 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 problem? It's as as I mentioned, it's it's exposure to light. Uh, I don't want to go too much into the into the chemistry because it's not the point of of the the, the, the talk today. But essentially, the punchline is. Short wavelength light, so UV light, and 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 in that near visible spectrum of short wavelength light, uh, reacts with enters the wine, reacts with compounds in there that through a, through a bit of a chain reaction end up producing uh, these aroma compounds that smell in various forms like uh, over boiled cabbage or drain water. I I get sort of a, a the combination of stagnant drain water and this 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 cabbagey smell that I mentioned. Um, which is which is really unpleasant. And the thing is, the thing about this fault that is so remarkable, is that you can just cr create this this issue for yourself by exposing the wine, uh, any wine, to light. So all wines uh, are sensitive to to light. Um, however, ironically, uh, the the one that the one that is the least sensitive to light is the one that's also least often packaged in clear glass and that's red wines so red wines because of the the the, the family of compounds that form tannins and also the pigment compounds in in red wine help to absorb some of the lights uh, some of some of the energy from light and slow down the development of this this uh, light strike reaction however white wines uh, and rosé wines uh, ex extremely vulnerable, and those are the ones that are more likely to be packaged in in in, uh, in, in clear bottles. Now, why does this why does this happen? If I, if I know about it, surely other surely other people know about it. Well, there's this funny uh, dichotomy uh, and 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 funny situation that's been that's been set up, whereby on the one hand you have producers who are saying we need to bottle our rosé wines and our, and our and some of our white wines in clear glass because that's what consumers demand particularly for for rosé producers are saying well the consumers are demanding I, you know, I won't be able to sell my wine unless i put it in clear glass so they can see the lovely pink color but on the other side of the equation you've got consumers who yes are driven by by color to a certain extent but who have no idea that uh, that, that the wine is is so vulnerable packaged into these into these uh, clear glass containers. Add on top of that the fact that um, despite its wide prevalence, uh, you have very few people that are trained to detect this 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 light strike aroma. They uh, consumers would take these wines home. Uh, some measurable percentage of them are going to be spoiled by by exposure to light just through the, the normal handling uh, in in the winery and through the through through the supply chain. Uh, the consumers will bring this wine home, taste it, and think, "Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not that fond of this one. Uh, I I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll buy that again." Um, or and uh, uh, unbe unbeknownst to them, actually. What they've got is a beautiful wine that's just been uh, spoiled by by being in the wrong in the wrong packaging. Now, um, why do I get involved uh, in this? Um, I ask myself that, that question uh, uh, 
quite quite often because the reality is all the wines that I've been involved in uh, for the past 12 or more years have been packaged in dark amber glass. So uh, the wines, the, the, the rosés and the uh, sparkling and the white sparkling wines that, uh, that uh, I'm responsible for bottling, all safely protected from light. And why not just let uh, other people uh, that, that want to fill their wine into, into clear packaging um, damage the damage the quality you know it's a competitive advantage for anyone using uh, dark amber glass uh, to just keep quiet and, and let the clear glass producers carry on but the thing that keeps drawing me back into this uh, into this conversation um, is, is the fact that that there's so few people that I've met that actually know and understand what what light strike is so so people are generally being exposed to lower quality wines than they ought to um, just because they're they're not familiar with this with this light strike phenomenon, and I would say that even applies uh, in in the trade. So so people that work uh, restaurants, or wine retailers, etc., uh, that that are exposed to wines all the time, who still might not be familiar with this with this uh, aroma. So I decided to um, create this video to share uh, to share a little bit of more information about it now. We've got these wines that are that are vulnerable to light. They're packaged in clear glass. What can we do? Well, not everyone will go as far as as far as uh, I do, in that I just avoid uh, taking these taking these wines home. I accept that I'm going to miss out on some fantastic uh, wines. There's a whole 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 category of wines that I'll just uh, never never enjoy at home because I just don't want to deal with the hassle of uh, light strike and wondering each, with each bottle that I pick up uh, whether it's going to be uh, affected or not. That's option one. Uh, option two, I suppose, for, for consumers is just to do your best uh, to choose wines that aren't affected by, uh, that, that aren't going to be affected by light. This can be simple things like looking for wines that are packed into uh, gift boxes. So they've they've been sheltered uh, from from light for for, for more of their life. Um, looking for bottles that are displayed maybe in a darker area of the of the shop or you know bottom shelf or, or back of the shelf um, sort of thing. Uh, and also talking to the people that sell you your your wine. So let them know that you're you're concerned about light strike. Um, let them know that it's it's on your mind and not just the fact that you want to be able to see. To see the color and then they can start to get this feedback and, and, and put actions in place. If you're on the other side of the transaction, if you're involved in, in, in selling wine in retail, well what can you do? Um, again, uh, go up the, up the chain, mention to mention to the producers that you're, uh, that you're concerned about light strike, but uh, I do appreciate you've got whole categories of wines that are that are bottled in these in these uh, clear glass packaging. Um, that aren't you, you can't suddenly stop uh, stop listing. Um, so some other some other ideas are uh, to organize your display in a way that the wines are a little bit more protective. Or how about an idea of having display bottles? So for all of the the wines that you're going to retail in 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 clear glass, you could have a section uh, where you display individual bottles of those wines, and those wines unavoidably are going to be uh, affected by light by the amount of time that they're spent out on the shelf. But all the rest of the wines, so the, the ones that are actually for sale, could be tucked away uh, in boxes or behind uh, in, a, in a cupboard or something like that, um, nicely, uh, nicely protected. Uh, on the on trade, uh, so so restaurants, etc. Et the the best thing that I can recommend is just some staff training. So so teach your team uh, about light strike and what it tastes like. This is the easiest trial, uh, easiest experiment to set up. Um, all that it takes is is to uh, buy two bottles of wine in, in in clear glass. Take one of them, put it in the in dark cupboard. Take another one and stick it out in the sun for an hour. Bring them back together and taste them side by side, and you'll be amazed uh, at the at the difference in the in the one that's been exposed to um, exposed to sun. And finally, uh, for producers, uh, well, uh, I think to try and find a way to to, to stop using uh, clear glass. And if that's if that's unavoidable, then take some steps to uh, to 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 protect your wine. That could be using some sort of uh, plastic wrapping, some sort of cellophane around the bottles that provides a shelter, using some sort of gift packaging, maybe even with a, with a, with a panel uh, that allows the, you, the, the customer to, to see the wine, but that has a protective film on it. It's a lot easier to get protective film for, 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 for packaging, for, for boxes, uh, than it is to, to get UV resistant um, 
uh, glass uh, or um, some other some other solution maybe an education plan uh, so so accompanying your bottles you could mention uh, in, in an information packet how sensitive the wine is to light and urging people all the way through the supply chain into the end customer to um, protect the wine anyhow uh, that's that's as far as I wanted to go uh, for today. I hope that you found this uh, a, a little bit helpful. Um, and and if there are if there are questions, get in touch with me uh, on on social media. I'm regularly talking about light strike on Twitter, uh, and we can pick up the conversation from there. Thanks. Bye.